All right, guys, we all witnessed it yesterday. The Lions won the game, but we're screwed by the refs. The NFL fixing the games right in front of our eyes. It cannot be more obvious than it was last night with the Lions versus the Cowboys. Well, the Lions actually did lose the game. Now, if you guys don't know, Lions thought they converted a potential game-winning two-point conversion. This would have won the game. I think there was like 23 seconds left. Don't think Dak would have came back and won the game. So, they would have been up by a uh, one point. They would have won this game. But what ends up happening is after discussion, official rule officials rule that Taylor Decker, the offensive lineman that caught the receiving two point conversion, was not an eligible player. After further review, guys, we watched a tape. We saw that Jared Goff directed Decker to go. So, you know, say that he was eligible. Okay. So I want to have a discussion here. I want your opinion on is the NFL fixed? I'm going to dive into some advantages. If in fact it is fixed, I'm going to play the tape here. Dan Campbell, absolutely, after the press conference, kind of holding himself back because they did, Decker did go in and report that he was an eligible player. So again, the fact that the refs can actually take this game. By the, the by, the balls and craft it the way they want the result of the way they want it during prime time. So, guys, I don't know how much more obvious this could be at this point. I did do a full episode on is the fix in from an expert, Brian Tui, who wrote the book on this, who studies this stuff in depth. Full expert review. I'm gonna link it here below on my brand new Joe Camo show. So make sure you guys go click on that link right now. I did I did an episode with Brian Tui a couple of years ago. That ended up getting over a quarter million views on the Joe Camo show. So, guys, I implore you guys to start doing your own research, especially if you're into bets and stuff like that. If you're betting on this stuff, you got to be careful. Now, let's play this tape here. I want to have a discussion here in the comments. First, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, thumbs up, drop a comment below. Is the NFL rigged? Love to get your feedback. Were the Lions screwed in that game? Do you think they win or was this legit? Um, I don't think it was, guys. I think they got screwed here. Like I said, they did report Decker in as an eligible player. And then after the play was done, the two-point conversion was done, the Lions were set to win the game, they got screwed. But again, I want to play, guys, I'm going to pull up this clip here. Now, if you guys have loudspeakers, I recommend you turn it down because there's a lot of background noise here from, you know, probably the locker room or wherever he's doing the press conference here. So I'm going to go ahead and play this clip here, guys, of um, of uh, Dan Campbell here. So t take a listen here, okay? You got him, two-point. 70 reported. Did Decker report as well? Yeah, the explanation was 70 reported. Did Decker report? Yes. And did they need to announce that if, if both um, players report? Two people can't report. I don't want to talk about it. All right. Well, there you have it. I mean, he doesn't want to talk about it here. You can see the frustration in his eyes. You can see he's really, really angry here, holding it back, trying to avoid a potential suspension here. Uh, from what I hear, heard after the fact, the refs involved in this are going to be suspended for the remainder of the playoffs as we get into the playoffs. Those refs will not be eligible to be refing any games, so they're going to lose some pay here. But I don't think that really matters because whatever... Vegas decides or whatever, you know, the NFL decides already happened. The Lions got screwed that game. Now, this isn't that, I mean, it is every game is important, especially in football, right? It's not like, you know, baseball where if you lose a bunch of games, you know, it matters. I mean, there is some implications for fan, uh, for playoffs, but it wasn't like, you know, it really pushed the Lions out of playoff contention or anything like that. But one thing you got to note here, though, is that the fact that they did this, in, you know, right in front of everybody during prime time, where a lot of people are off for the holidays now. You know, it's New Year's Eve today. And, you know, the fact that they're doing this is crazy. Now, how can this work to your advantage? Because, I, again, I had the expert on. Again, if you haven't listened to the show, listen to it. One thing he says is that these games, particularly primetime games, in this game, these guys were, like, there wasn't a complete underdog here. I think the Lions were the underdog. I don't know what the spread was at, three or four. If, for in fact, there is an underdog, he's saying, you know, majority of the time, you might want to take the spread because typically primetime games are left right to the end. They're le they're somehow designed so that it goes close and makes it somewhat interesting. And as a viewer, that's a good thing. We want an interesting close game. So he was saying, and Brian too was saying, maybe just, again, this is not advice or anything like that, but he was suggesting that maybe, just maybe, you might want to take the uh, the spread 
in favor of the underdog when these primetime games are happening because we clearly saw it here. The game was close, right to the wire, literally. And then the Lions win it on a two-point conversion, pretty much. There was a couple seconds left. And then the game is thrown for, for this reason. And again, that's crazy how this happened. And again, I just can't wrap my head around how obvious this is. Like before it was kind of a question mark. Like, oh, maybe the refs are in on it. Maybe these games are rigged. Maybe the NFL is fixed. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is fixed. Maybe this is there's something going on. Now it's more and more blatantly obvious. And with the NFL now more and more making jokes about it. Prior to the season, you saw all those commercials and all those skits on is the NFL rigged and we're making up the script, the script and the skits and all that stuff. You know, where's the script? The script is in asking players particularly. And I just recently had uh, Zach Sudfield on former uh, Patriots tight end. And I play, I think he played play for the Jets as well. Again, on the Joe commercial, if you haven't subscribed. And he talked about as a bubble player, as like the 85% of the majority of players, they're not in on this stuff, Right. It seems like whoever's pulling the strings to make these calls is clearly up above. Now, I think some of the bigger players maybe evolved. The Ray Lewis's of the world from the past who won their Super Bowl before they retired. The Peyton Manning's of the past who were handed a Super Bowl who won't come out right now to admit, hey, you know, I was handed a Super Bowl. There is a bit of a fix in here. But I believe certain parts of the, you know, the NFL and even sports in general are fixed to, again, make it entertainment. And again, it is, if you guys don't know, it is sports entertainment. So they are legally allowed to fix these games. So again, I want to get your feedback in below. Were the Lions screwed? What do you guys think of this? Is this crazy? Is this madness? Are they being a little bit too brazen with this? A little too obvious at this point? Is that going to affect viewership? Because I think people are still going to watch these games no matter what. So at the end of the day, let me know your thoughts. Does this make you angry? Or is this a concern? Or are you going to take advantage of it? Maybe start you know, getting into some bets here. Maybe there's a lot of bet sites now. Are you still going to start getting into that a bit more? And use that to your advantage, knowing that some of these things are script in the favor of maybe the underdog to keep closer games. Let me know what you guys think. But what I saw yesterday was disgusting. Now, I had nothing down on anybody last last night, so I had no no investment other than fantasy on, on the spread or anything like that. But watching this game, I would be pissed, right, if the game was swayed based on, one way or another, based on what the refs did in this game. Where clearly, Decker did report Clearly, it's shown on video that it reported. And again, they're even showing you, right? They're showing you clips where he actually did report. He walked up. What, what was said during the conversation to the ref, we don't know exactly. But at the end of the day, it's BS. It was crazy. Lions got screwed. Love to get your feedback below. Again, I'm going to be doing more of these sports videos here as well for news here for you guys. So make sure you guys are subscribed here. And again, follow the Counselor brand. Thumbs up. Let me know your comments. And of course, follow the Joe Commotion and go watch the episode with Brian Tui on the fixes in. I'll link it here below. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Have a very, very happy new year, 2024. We're going to go hard on this channel. We go year-round with fantasy football news. Drop your comments below. I appreciate you guys. Right.